In this task, we will define a new grass location and map set to serve as our working environment for the unsupervised classification. First, let's briefly review a few storage concepts. For a more detailed overview, revisit task 3 in lab 1 of this course, or read the GRASSGIS documentation at grass.osgo.org. In order for GRASS to start a project, it must first connect to a database, also called a GISD base or a GIS data directory. The database is simply a folder on your computer that has a special subdirectory structure. Once GRASS connects to a database, it then needs to access a location. A location is a child directory of the database and stores the coordinate system or map projection that all enclosed map sets will use. A map set is a child directory of a location that represents a geographical subset of its parent's location. Map sets contain geographic data in their directories. There are two types of map sets, permanent and owner. So let's create the location and map set. So I'm going to open up the GRASS GIS 6.4.4 GUI. Um, and this is going to open the Welcome to Grass GIS window and possibly a command prompt right here, which you can ignore, uh, for this exercise. It may also say starting grass for the first time. Click OK to that and then click Cancel to browse for folder. And we'll get back to this here in a moment. So we first need to set the GIS data directory and the location and the map set. So I'm going to click Browse next to the GIS data directory and I'm going to find my lab folder and I'm going to select that so GST 105 and I'm going to click OK I'm going to create a new folder called grass data in my lab folder uh, so to do that I'm going to click the location wizard this will open the define new grass location wizard so I'm going to verify that the GIS data directory points to my lab directory and it does. I'm going to set the project location and location title both to Sacramento. So Sacramento and Sacramento. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to select the EP, EPS, EPSG code of spatial reference system. There we go, since I happen to know it. I'm going to click Next. And then I'm going to, uh, in the search, click 3309 and press enter and that selects NAD 27 California Albers uh, which is uh, which is what I want so I'm going to click next and now I need to set uh, or select the datum transformation so I'm going to choose one used in the whole NAD 27 region as the datum transformation and click OK I'm going to click finish on the summary page to return to the grass welcome window now, if you receive a dialog telling you to change the default JS grass directory, press OK to dismiss. So a dialog box named Location Sacramento um, created will appear asking if we wish to set the default region extents and resolution now. now. Go ahead and click No. A dialog box named Create New Map Set will appear asking if we wish to create a new map set. We do, so we will enter Classification and then press OK. This will create our map set for us. You should now have the Sacramento location and two map sets created in the GIS database, classification and permanent being the available map sets. We can now start our GRASS GIS project. Select classification from the accessible map sets list and click start GRASS button. This will open the GRASS GUI. We'll see that here in just a moment. And now we've successfully set our location, selected our map set, and opened GRASS.